Hello, we, it's, it's been a long time I've not been here. Um, my students kept, uh, requested me to come and uh, talk about uh, referencing um, in research using uh, American Psychological Association Upper Seventh Edition and uh, also talk about um, the uh, aspects of using citation or referencing uh, softwares. You know, many students, uh, when they are writing their manuscripts, they don't uh, seem to understand that uh, if you manage your reference list or your citations manually, you are likely to miss out on the principles and uh, the rules of uh, a certain referencing style. So, but there are softwares out there that uh, talk about, um, I mean, that can help you to manage uh, your citations, your reference lists, so that you cite using proper styles. Um, there are many, of course. We have uh, Endnote, we have uh, Mendeley, we have uh, many others, uh, Zotelo, many others that are, are used out there. Today I'm here to demonstrate on how you can use Mendeley to uh, reference your work or when you are working on uh, an academic manuscript. You know that uh, academic work is about uh, uh, citing and acknowledging the work of others. So uh, we'll dive in. There is no much time to be talking a lot. Just go to your search engine Google and type in Mendeley Desktop. Now, there are many uh, ways to download Mendeley Desktop. Uh, you can start by, you can go directly to the, the Mendeley website or you can get here. So you'll see in your search results, download Mendeley Desktop. Of course, there are many others like Mendeley, download Mendeley Reference Manager for Desktop, for Linux. This is not for people using Windows. Um, and uh, I want you to be specific and download uh, Mendeley Desktop, not necessarily Mendeley the Reference Manager. So we already have it here. So we open it in a new tab and uh, it will take us to page where we can download you see that I already have an account so you can also start by creating an account and I'm sure those that don't have accounts yet they will prompt you to create an account so you click download uh, mainly desktop for Windows and uh, of course uh, it will launch the mainly uh, download uh, setup which Mendeley desktop download setup which you can uh, uh, save and it does not take long to to download once you have a setup you click on it uh, it will take long so I'll pause the video so that uh, we okay it is going uh, so you see that you download the Mendeley uh, desktop uh, setup and once you have it downloaded you click on it and once you click on it you run uh, and install uh, the Mendeley through the installation uh, wizard so uh, I, I will give you time to do that so I'll pause the video and come back at a, a level where we already have Mendeley. Uh, uh, okay, so let me pause the video, then we'll come back to Mendeley. Uh, we are assuming that you will successfully be able to download the uh, setup and run through the installation uh, wizard. 
up till you have Mendeley installed on your on your computer. Yeah, we are back. Uh, once you have uh, installed Mendeley on your computer, Mendeley desktop on your computer, I am seeing a, a, a notification that you have to do this before the 1st of September. Uh, and then they are saying that uh, after 1st of September, this mo uh, coming month, you will not be able to have a uh, Mendeley desktop downloaded on your computer. So I don't know why it is so. Uh, so this is the Mendeley interface. Uh, for those that we are able to download uh, this software. Uh, don't mind about this. These are some of the files I have uploaded here. Of course, we have the interface, we have the file, we have edit, we have view, we have tools, we have help. But importantly, the most important tools or tool is this one, which allows you to add um, to add uh, your f your folders or your files. So when you click here, you can add a file one by one, or you can add a folder. But most likely, I always encourage my students to upload folders because it is uh, easier there. So assuming you are working on a project, I have several projects here that I've been working on in Mendeley that your own may should have no projects yet because you are just starting to use the software. So you come here, down, you get down here, and then you create a folder. Of course, when you create a folder, it gives you an empty interface. I mean, an in empty aspect here where you will upload. And just call the folder new to Mendeley uh, so that uh, we can. Uh, so you see that we have a folder called new to Mendeley. So you open it. Now you have your articles already downloaded and uh, put in the folder somewhere maybe the folder is on the desktop you know where you have downloaded all your articles so you get here and say add folder it will take you to where you can get your folder uh, on uh, your computer so let me see if i have a folder i can use to uh, to do what to to upload uh, some documents here uh, so I'm just looking for something like research where oof, I think I okay I can use this then I'll see whether I can upload things here so when you click on the folder all the files in that folder will uh, start uploading here let me hope that was not an empty folder <laughs> aha no no it was not so you see that uh, we had files especially pdf files okay don't mind about the nature of the files you can still work on this so once you have your files you will know that these files you have put here you can use them to reference your work so assuming you want to work with a certain folder you already in Mendeley uh, you click the I mean you want to work with a certain file you click with the file and then you read through there might be a certain aspect you want to include in your work and cite that particular uh, article or pa particular author so you see that uh, the, the the this we have a very important uh, important what important uh, aspect here so about nigerian schools so you might take it and uh, rewrite it of course we say you don't copy directly from uh, from uh, the article so you read this you come and rewrite it okay so and then you take it to microsoft word so when it is here you can rewrite it you don't need to copy you can change and rewrite it okay but for the sake of this video i may not rewrite this i just want to show you how to cite so you rewrite or you take it to quillbot have a an uh, a video about quillbot which is a paraphrasing software in others you are supposed to paraphrase it to rewrite it so you don't copy it directly now in mendeley you know that uh 
uh, there is a plug-in in your installation you must have been prompted to install a microsoft word, word plug-in uh, which appears in um, in main in a reference tab so when you're in the reference tab this is the plug-in so you want to incite a citation here where the cursor is so what you do you go to references you already in microsoft word you get to references and then you click of course you will see the plugin if you successfully installed it it will tell you mainly site omatic which is a plugin that is in microsoft word so once you go to reference tab you uh, make sure the cursor is where you want the reference in, in text citation to be and then you click on uh, insert citation and then it will prompt you to go to mendeley click go to mendeley and it will take you back to mendeley you click you highlight that article you want to cite and then you click the cite tab here and of course it will uh, automatically put a citation for you so you keep doing that and uh, you keep rewriting of course we don't just copy but we give our opinions you can continue writing that uh, may be based on um, on this uh, on on the findings or uh, findings of um, of uh, so and so then the conclusions you keep writing so that you have your own um, contribution to what you are trying to put here but importantly what you got from that article is cited here automatically so you keep putting citations uh, you keep putting citations uh, until you you have all your citations inserted and if you want a citation to start at the beginning of uh, the paragraph so you can just say according to according to then you put the citation there you say go to mendeley you put uh, the, the article you want to cite and then here you have to change it because it is at the beginning you do a manual change according to it will prompt you to know whether you want to keep the manual change but you change it here it's so according to uh Jaud and shalsha 2020 comma it is asking you whether you want to keep the manual edit you say keep manual edit and then you you put a comma here of course and then you'll see that uh, you have a citation at the beginning so you have a citation at the beginning of the, sen uh, the, the, the paragraph or at the end of the sentence you know uh, so that uh, you respect the upper standards so once you are done all that and you are sure that probably you have written like 20 pages <laughs> or 30 pages you might be having a lot of uh, text you have i mean a lot of in in text citations you have added using mainly you get to the last page of your write-up i'm assuming this is your last page you put the word you put this word references and then you put the cursor there come back to reference tab and then this time around say insight bibliography so when you click inside bibliography it gives you a reference list which automatically is generated for you and following the upper seventh edition standard thank you so much the next time i come back here i'll be demonstrating to you more on how you can uh, use other styles other than apa seventh edition there are other referencing styles uh, mainly has all these styles you just keep checking it here you see that we have seventh edition but we have others so you keep checking checking until you take on uh, especially computing and engineering students you can use i triple e and uh, it will help you so mainly is a very powerful tool i request you to download it and use this video to know how to use it for referencing thank you so much and bye bye